What's going on y'all? Snake with Bear Family Farms. Today I came out here to show you guys another water setup. I guess it's been a while since I've made one of these and this one is a little bit different. It's on a trailer. Uh, sorry about the lighting. I tried to come out here earlier today probably about two o'clock and I couldn't get one minute with this camera without it saying it was overheating. I think we touched 103 today so it was pretty hot so the, the camera was overheating. I couldn't get a full video on it but basically this trailer was a boat trailer I found it on Instagram or not Instagram Facebook marketplace there's some of the billies back there Facebook marketplace Craigslist I can't remember uh, so I cut the ramp the little stands for the boat off and I put some more support beams in there and welded on uh, I guess I cut that tongue off and made it shorter so dang long put some expanded metal for the floor and uh yeah, and I, I just haul this, obviously I haul it around when it's empty and I fill it up. But I found these little supports on Amazon for like 45 bucks. I got four of them. They can hold 6,000 pounds. Uh, so I put two in the front. One. I guess you can't see that pulls in the way. Two in the front, two in the back, and that's where a lot of this weight is being supported. It's not on the axle, obviously. Um, almost 300 gallons in that tank is... Uh, Let's just call it eight pounds a gallon. That's obviously way more than 2,000 pounds. But it's a lightweight trailer and it pulls it fine when it's empty and whatnot. And then when I fill it up, I just put it on these jack stands. Here's the, the billies. They're looking good. They are happy. They are happy. There's Kerjack back there. Kerjack and Maui. The two big boys. There's a prospect there. Another prospect there. But I'll get back to this setup. Uh, basically, it's the same setup as I always do. You know, I got my adapter on that valve. And then uh, just a hose and a float. 25 gallon tank. I like these smaller tanks. It's easier. Less waste whenever I dump it over. Uh, and give them some fresh water but this stuff works great we got a pup here in training uh, i think my wife calls this one hugo then buck buck is training him that's a pretty sight there though look at that thinking about sending that boy to tennessee there i'm not sure yet to the spanish goat gathering in murfreesboro he was turned a year in April, I think it was, beginning in April, and he is, he's gorgeous. But yeah, that's it folks, I just, like I said, I just, it's been a while since I made one of these, but this is an old boat trailer, found it for like 200 bucks or 100 bucks, and did a little modifications on it, put some D-rings, well, there's some D-rings on there, and pretty portable. Uh, I have another trailer that I'm going to set up. It's a tandem axle that I found same place for like 400 bucks. It ain't got no floor and the tongue's all bent, but I think I can put a 500 gallon tank on it and actually move it around with full water. But there's that back support beam. You see my tail lights are busted out. At one point I tried to, <laughs> tried to make it road worthy, but they don't go far. That's all I got for you guys today. Be sure to like and subscribe our page and look at for us on Facebook and Instagram. We post on there regularly and I try and get these videos up when I have the opportunity to. But we are busy just like everybody else so bear with us and if you got anything you guys want to know or or see or understand how we do things just send us a message on facebook or instagram and we'll try and get you a video of some sort look at that man there a slate beautiful boy all right well you guys have a good day we'll see y'all later